guys, it's Hannah Mojo. Welcome to my haul or welcome back to my haul. So, I spend the majority of my money at Doll's Kill. I kid you not when I say that. Last year at the end of the year when it was time for me to pay my taxes, believe it or not, I pay taxes now. <laughs> my CPA looked at all of the money I spent throughout the year and he rounded up the things that I spent the most money on and there were probably like five things. The majority of them being like flights or like Uber or like, you know, normal stuff like that. But one of the five things was clothing. But the majority of the money spent on clothing was at Doll's Kill. I kid you not, it was in the top five things I spent the most money on last year in total which is absolutely terrifying. I'm sure that if you have been subscribed to me for a while, you know that I love fashion. I love fast fashion. I love current trendy stuff. I love shopping. You get it. I love spending my money recklessly. Normally, this would probably be a vlog channel video. I don't know if you're subscribed to my vlog channel, but shameless self promo, I will link it below. I'm constantly doing hauls over on my vlog channel. However, I think I spent too much money this time. <laughs> So I'm needing to put it on my main channel. So if you wanted a story time or a comedy video, this is really just a haul. And I'm sorry in advance for that. I'll try to keep the majority of these videos on my vlog channel. But today, this is some main channel content. And I have actually been avidly trying to suck the fart out of Dolls Kill's ass for the last year. And emailing them and talking to them. Working with them on little stuff here and there. And the majority of companies or like clothing companies or Instagram companies or companies that I fuck with will just kind of send a bunch of shit to influencers. Dolls Kill like used to do that and whatever. And I've been trying to tell them every day like listen, I spend one fifth of the majority of my money at your store. If you send me the things I want, I will literally take all of the small amount of clout I have and just give it to you. <laughs> and they're like, and at one point they were saying yes and I got so excited and whatever, but just we keep going back and forth and they keep kind of offering me an inch, but I'm trying to take a mile here. A few weeks ago, they actually reached out back to me and they said, okay, we would love to send you some stuff for a video. And I was like, oh my fucking God, I'm so excited. You are my favorite store in the world. Thank God, I promise you, I will not do you wrong. And so then they sent me this link and they're like, okay, you can pick out stuff from the website through this link. And so I clicked the link and I was just like expecting the whole website. <laughs> just like this link of pre-selected things for like influencers, if that makes sense. And so I was really bummed out being the IMG uh, basic little slut that I am, that the majority of the stuff was like their cheaper stuff or stuff that was their brand or stuff that whatever. But I still was like, okay, I can still make a video out of this. And so I pick out like 20 to 25 items and I send them back to them. And not to suck my own dick, but normally a dedicated haul video where I'm showcasing 20 to 25 items, if I was doing that for a brand, I would probably charge upwards of $25,000. That makes me sound so put together and rich. <laughs> and because I love them so much, and at the end of the day, yes, I do sponsored posts and stuff like that, but also the majority of the stuff I talk about on my channel isn't sponsored. I do just want to share shit with the people that watch me that I fuck with because that's like what this YouTube channel is about, you know? Like I don't want to become one of those channels where everything is sponsored. So obviously, I was just excited to do the haul video. I wait like three weeks. I finally get a box in the mail. I'm so excited. Dolls Kill boxes are so iconic. So literally when I see them, I like have an orgasm. They look like this. They're all black and super cool and whatever. And so I'm so excited. I'm like, oh my God, all my Dolls Kill stuff is here. I'm gonna film this fucking kick-ass haul video, whatever. I open up the box and like six of the 30 things I picked were in the box. I realize how first world and stupid this all sounds. It's not that I'm being a dumb entitled bitch and they didn't like send me my stuff and I'm throwing a fit over it. I guess I was just like looking forward to making this whole video and now I realized I didn't really have enough stuff for a whole video, if that makes sense. And it's not like the stuff was like out of stock either. It's more so like they just kind of took like six of the 30 items I picked and sent them to me. And that's okay. I'm fucking grateful for that. They're still my favorite company. It's awesome. But then I decided like any rational, responsible human being that because they didn't send me the other items I picked that I would just go on their website and spend $3,000 <laughs> so that I can like make a whole video, you know, like that makes sense. It was like an investment like for my business. <laughs> and so I'm going to start off this video by showing you the six items that they sent me because I do still fuck with them and I want to say thank you for that and like whatever, but like I'm definitely pissed like, hey Dolls Kill, can you please just like furnish my wardrobe? <laughs> and then I'm going to 
get into showing you what I spent my $3,000 on on Dolls Kill. So I guess I'm just gonna hop right into the haul. Like I said, this video isn't really a comedy video, it's just a haul for the people who do fuck with me on a level past me ranting and swearing and telling story times and being a psychopath. If you fuck with my, my style, that's what this is. I really just need to make my $3,000 back. <laughs> One of the first items they sent me in the six was this little skirt, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's like a TV static print, and it's like this little tiny skirt, and it's so fucking cute. I selected a matching top with this. They they chose to just go with the skirt, and that's okay. <laughs> I sound so passive aggressive. I think this will be mad cute though, with like a mesh turtleneck bodysuit and like some thigh highs, even some little like sorty fucking big ass shoes with like a platform and like a little crop top would be very cute. Yeah. Do you guys remember in every Gigi Gorgeous video how she would literally just take any item and like throw it behind her like that? The next thing I got I'm absolutely obsessed with, everyone when they saw me open this was like, yeah, yikes. But it is just so up my alley. It is this giant oversized color blocked hoodie. H hoodie. <laughs> I like it because it's up different colors on each side. I like things that are spunky and quirky and not like most girls. I don't know, I like this for the airport because like what says like comfy, cozy, and don't look at me, but also I'm drawing the most attention to myself possible. <laughs> It's actually very warm and a really nice hoodie, so I'm super excited about this. It also reminds me of something I would have like loved as like a little kid. I never let the little kid be like go. Then I picked up this bra and underwear set. They chose to send the underwear. I was intending on taking a photo in the bra and underwear and that's why I selected them. But now I guess Brad can just like fuck me in the underwear. Basically they're all covered in rhinestones like this and they have these cute little straps. They're actually very high quality. With like Valentine's Day coming up, these are very like sexy and cute, expensive looking and we all want our pussy to look expensive on Valentine's Day, so that's that on that. The next thing I got is actually from one of my favorite companies and it's this little black tank top that is covered in bedazzles and it says bitch on it and there's a little underboob moment and it's so cute. I'm actually going to Nikita Dragon's birthday tonight and this is kind of Nikita-y. I think she would approve of this. It's stuff like this that actually did inspire me to make my bedazzled canceled hoodies. Definitely gonna have a lot more bedazzled merch and stuff like that coming out in the future. Speaking of bedazzled shit that I don't need but really want, I also got this set which is also Poster Girl and it is this black bedazzled bralette with a matching black bedazzled skirt. And the skirt is super sick because it has these like little strappy straps that go above your, I was literally gonna say hippie hips and I, yeah, no. I could also wear this tonight though, it's like so cunty. And then the last two things that they sent me are these little orange mesh biker shorts, which I'm so obsessed with. I did wanna get a matching top to this as well, but I'm so glad they sent me the shorts. I think this is gonna be so cute with a big t-shirt over it. I know that it's kind of like ass showy, but I do also feel like everything I wear is a little ass showy. And I do think with a long enough t-shirt, it won't really matter. Or it would be cute over like a bikini or something for a rave, but like I definitely do just see myself wearing this in my everyday life. So the next thing is this black skirt with little zippers all over it and all of the zippers are fully functioning and actually do unzip And I kid you not this skirt is so fucking heavy like this skirt weighs more than most Instagram models This is leaning more towards something I would probably wear on like a red carpet or like to a movie premiere Just because it is cool and edgy, but it's still like very thick very heavy very high quality basically me so yeah, now that I'm done showing the things Dolls Kill was gracious enough to send me, I'm gonna move on to the $3,000 of my own money that I spent. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna move on to the $3,000 of my own money that I earned so hard and totally wish they would've sent to me that I wish I wouldn't have had to spend, but I did end up spending on these clothes that I bought. <laughs> I'm just gonna start with the first box in front of me. There's literally giant Dolls Kill boxes, like the size of my whole body all over my floor. So I'm gonna try to move as quickly as possible. I guess actually, before I talk about the stuff in the box, I am wearing two things I bought today. The first thing is this shirt, which actually ended up breaking. Uh, so, hey Dolls Kill, you didn't send me this and I don't have to pretend like it didn't break. No, I'm kidding. It had these little nipple piercings and it was so sick, but this one just like broke and fell off over here. I'm actually very, very pissed about it. I might just run like a cool chain through it because I love this shirt so much. I would wear this all the time. I'm actually very, very sad it broke. I literally think it is the best shirt ever until it broke. It was one of the cheaper items on their website, so I guess I'm not that mad, but at the same time, I do hate when shit breaks, and imagine if this was like the only thing you ordered and you really fucked with this, that's annoying. Hey, Dolls Kill, send me another shirt. <laughs> and then these awesome leggings, which were actually very, very well priced. They're just like, uh, uh. 
pleathery vibe with these like cutouts all down it. Brad was holding his jewel in these earlier and I was like, okay, me. I really love these leggings and see myself wearing these absolutely a lot just because I'm always wearing big t-shirts or big hoodies and I think this is cool because it adds another form of texture or something else cool to the outfit. But I can still be wearing like a t-shirt and leggings and they are very comfortable and stretchy and like movie and it's big, huh? The next thing I got are these joggers, which I'm so obsessed with. It's insane. They literally just say the word boy all over them over and over and over again. But if you've ever watched any video of mine ever, you know I'm constantly saying, like, I'm just a boy. I'm a little boy. And they're the sickest material. They remind me of something Billie Eilish would wear or, like, her merch that says Billie all over it. The thought of being, like, in the airport in these or just, like, chilling at home in these, I'm obsessed. These were definitely a little on the pricey side. Ashley was trying to talk me out of them. She was literally like, oh, hundred fucking dollars for this pair of joggers like you don't fucking need them but they did end up being pretty high quality now that I'm touching them and feeling the material I don't know I'm justifying a hundred dollar pair of joggers so I'll stop I love them I'm a boy the next thing I got I'm so obsessed with I just love things again just like these leggings even that are really comfy and easy but like make it look like you're putting in more effort than you did this is like this black mock neck shirt that looks like there's a long sleeve shirt underneath it and it just like zips up around the neck and it's super sick I really really like this because again I could just throw this on even like with these leggings and it looks like I have a put together outfit on that I like thought super hard about but I fucking didn't the next thing are these little red leopard biker shorts I just thought like a big t-shirt with these and like sneakers would be so cute versus like a plain black pair of biker shorts it like adds something to it I feel like the leopard would do a little something for my butt so I'll test that out and get back to you the next top Ashley also tried to talk me out of buying this one she said that it gave her Mustang Sally vibes and I was really offended by it. I do this thing when I online shop where I show my cart to Ashley before I check out and I make her go through the whole cart and like tell me things that I shouldn't buy because I have no concept of like no. And to be real, now that I'm looking at it, it was kind of cuter online. However, it's just like this little white thin button up top with black stitching, which I really like. Some tight black jeans and like some cool boots. It would be like a cool vibe. I'm literally going to Dallas on tour this weekend and I felt like it was like a little Texan and like cute, you know? I just feel like you at home right now don't like this and I need to stop showing it. Okay. <laughs> the next thing I got is this Kappa jacket. Um, I'm not a huge Kappa person but I definitely do have a decent amount of Kappa stuff and I felt like this would look really cool over a lot of shit for the airport or if I was in like a cold city or like whatever it's basically just this black hooded Kappa jacket that's super long and on the back in shiny black lettering it says Kappa. Basically if it's cold and rainy I feel like this is a good addition to pretty much any outfit that I would wear. The next thing is this little zebra bodysuit I feel like animal print is just like taking the world by a storm right now and I felt like this would be really cute just like with a plain black skirt. Ooh even like a big black beefy jogger and it's cool to see like zebra and leopard and shit make a comeback because I feel like when I was younger and growing up that's like the prints that were everywhere so it's cool to see fashion like resurface like I'm finally old enough to be seeing fashion actually resurface from when I was younger I feel like you always hear your parents talking about that how fashion always resurfaces but then when it finally starts to happen to you you're like damn am I old then I got this little polka dot top it's like it's like polka dot with the little ruffles and it's like a blush pink this would be so cute just like with the rest of the outfit being like emo af like this is the only like pop of girliness a big black jogger with like chains and like a bunch of chains and like doc martens even like a beanie but then you just like have on this little like tee -hee. oh wait i'm a girl then another item that ashley tried to talk me out of buying i should have listened to ashley so it's this black strapless bodysuit with butterflies all over it. Super cool in theory, right? Like with some black joggers or like a skirt, you know, love a good butterfly moment. Super nice material, but I'm having two issues with it as I'm opening it. I feel like online in the photo, you couldn't really tell, but I also might just be a stupid ass bitch. I will confirm on the screen right now. Inside of the butterflies, it says LTT over and over again. Like the name of the company, whatever their like little name is. Like girl, I did not pay $40 for a bodysuit to like be giving your company this much promo and like who the fuck is LTT like I don't care or I guess I could take a black sharpie in every single one and like color it in but like the fact that they were oh so audacious to think that like every girl wearing this like wants to like just me but what if like, the average girl likes the brand but like no one's heard of this fucking brand no offense LTT like what does this stand for like Lil Thotty Thot love too true 
Like, okay, me fucking too, love too true. And it's long as fuck. Like, bitch, my dick could fit in this. <laughs> I like it. I like it in theory. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just really cooking this one fucking item. I need to chill. Oh my god, the next thing is by Jaded London, I think. And I love them. They're really dope. They have offered to send me stuff. I'm just like a stupid bitch who continues to spend my money on their shit. This could be fun for tonight. It's this little black top that laces up over the tits. And then it has little buckles on it. And the buckles are reflective. So when you take things with flash, it'll like... Which I always think is fun because it fucks up everyone's photos. <laughs> yeah, I like this. It's actually a lot more high quality than I expected it to be. I feel like it wouldn't just like fall apart. And then the next thing I got are these IMG joggers, which, ugh. I'm such a little stupid slut for IMG. It's insane. Don't get me wrong. I feel like they are mad expensive, but I also feel like their stuff is very, very high quality and it's not going to like go south anytime soon. Like this little fucking nipple ring shirt. Hello. It's just these really thick black cargo -y joggers and there's a bunch of little tassels hanging from all the pockets and stuff like this. I thought these would look cute, like wide legged at the bottom with like big shoes or tightening the bottom like this with this little string and wearing like smaller shoes. Next thing is this little black velvet dress. Mm. It's black like velour with these little crosses all over it. Super cute. Totally thought the crosses were silver in the photo and that's why I bought this because I don't really like gold. But again, I just like might be a stupid bitch who like didn't really look so I'm not really placing blame anywhere. I still think this is going to be mad cute on me. Don't get me wrong. But so yeah, I still feel like this will be cute. It was pretty cheap though. So that's okay. The next thing everyone tried to talk me out of buying, I'm not going to lie to you, but I am so fucking obsessed with it. It's crazy. It is this pair of red Dickies overalls, which I just didn't need these and there's just such a good chance I'm gonna look like farmer fucking Sally in this shit But like also I think it could be cool. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to see if I end up wearing these <laughs> This little white dress. It's just this little white tight silky strapless dress with little white fur on the bottom And it has matching furry gloves I do love it. I can't lie. I can't wait to wear this shit and be a regal little cunt um was way too fucking expensive and if I had any fucking brains in my head I absolutely wouldn't have bought it but um it's this little strapless denim corset from Levi isn't it so cute it's like I feel like this is just gonna be so dope with like pretty much every single pair of pants I wear and I've been really into corset tops lately that's why as you can see I've gotten a few but definitely pricey so I'm hoping it I'm hoping it ends up being pretty high quality. It still was expensive as fuck. Which is why Dolls Kill probably didn't want to send me it. Mm -hmm. The next thing I'm so fucking obsessed with, it's insane. I really do see myself wearing this a lot unless it breaks like the shirt. <laughs> Um, it is this black little it's just this little black dress that's super silky I feel like you can already tell by looking at it. It's just gonna be very flattering It kind of goes out a little bit at the hips and like butt area so that your waist looks smaller and whatever And there's just this little butterfly on the titties I'm like ASMR crunch doll kill haul extreme crunch Okay, the next thing I got was incredibly pricey, I'm not gonna lie. And I really debated putting it back, but I did at the end of the day think that this would be so perfect for like a good red carpet moment or like, I feel like I constantly have last minute appearances or like movie premieres or like shit Mario drags me to that I like need to be fucking. So I felt like this would be something good to have like under my belt in the next like month or so if I needed to like pull a fucking head to toe outfit like out of my asshole in 20 minutes, which I actually need to do a lot more than you would think. It is the Swarovski crystal covered pants that are silky and to the ground with a matching Swarovski crystal covered silky blazer and like imagine this and this with like just a little simple black bralette and like black stilettos and like nice hair and it's just like a moment so stay tuned for that moment but yeah it kind of looks like pajamas the more that I'm thinking about it though Oh my god, fun. So Dolls Kill actually has a lot of like slutty little lingerie sets too, which are actually very well priced. Like if you need some creative ass lingerie for a good price, I do recommend Dolls Kill because they have a lot of cool sets. So I got this like bondagey BDSM me vibe black leather studded bralette with a black leather studded thong. And the thong is very like chappy, gartery, like beat me with a whip, like you know, along with a, a waist garter that's studded as well. I'm not really showing the waist garter very well. It's cause like I don't really wear these that often because like I'm lazy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this would be cool for a photo shoot. Am I becoming a porn star? Yeah. Like this is like what a porn star would buy for a photo shoot. I see it with like a gag right in your mouth. <laughs> right in 
Lately, so many more of my comments, more so than usual, have been like do porn, like just do porn already. Like you might as well be doing porn. And I feel like I'm not really doing anything that differently than I used to do. So I'm a little confused by that. But I just want to assure the viewers at home, I won't be doing porn anytime soon. The money is far too good with this YouTube shit, baby. <laughs> oh my God, fuck my little ass until I literally come everywhere. This is so cool. This is so do cool. Do porn. Me, I'll never do porn. Me two minutes later, fuck my little ass. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. I love it. I'm gonna wear this to my wedding, which actually might be next week. It's this black, like, oh my god, I love it so much. Like, vinyl leather, super high-rise bodysuit that, like, straps around the hip. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> like, go the fuck off, random bitch, on this fucking piece of paper. The thought of this with, like, some cottony, like, random casual joggers, like, it just... It speaks to me. This is for like the majority of my body and I can like hold it in my hand like this The next thing I got is like a three-piece vibe in case I'm just ever casually in Tokyo <laughs> I think Ashley Haley and Michael planning for their trip to Tokyo made me have to buy some like Japanese shit too Which is like is not normal. I'm sounding more and more like Trisha Paytas every day It's um this black dress that has like a photo of like neon signs that are Chinese I, no, Chinese. It says Chinese right there. I stand by Chinese. I stand by Chinese. Is Maybe I'm wrong. I dropped out. <laughs> it's not a scandal. I'm just fucking dumb. And I'm admitting that. Like, what are, like, Tana Mojo is dumb. The scandal. Like, I think we've all had that. And then there is a denim jacket over it with the same pattern, which I just think is so good. I love anything, like, monochrome in that sense. So, like, it's a super easy outfit. And then just to take it to the next level, it's these mesh thigh-high socks to match it. So, like, with, like, a little black heel. The next thing... <laughs> This little leopard beret hat. Wow. Oh, it's so cute. Like, hee hee, I am a girl. I really like berets. They don't stay on my head at all. I don't know if that's because my head is too big or too small, but um, I think they just make every outfit like a little more cunty and put together. The next thing was really, really well priced, and that's why I decided to get it and just try it out. But it is just this little black button up thermal top with matching black thermal leggings. These came as a set for like 40 bucks. And that's another thing I do love about Dolls Kill is how they have so many sets like this is instantly a put together look it's a good little titty moment even just like when it gets warmer the thought of wearing this with like sneakers to the airport is just like right up my alley even to like sleep in the next thing was literally 50 dollars i think more maybe even like 70 and i definitely did not need these in the slightest like i'm such a stupid bitch i can't even believe i'm about to show you this item i can't even believe i spent my money on this item but i was just thinking like album cover like crazy photo shoot crazy moment where i needed a crazy earring it's like these earrings with did a little want? Disc in them. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. They're low key kind of lightweight. And they say Sony on them. So as I'm deciding <laughs> if I want to sign with Sony, I'll just like wear these earrings and jump cut to me in debt in five years. Just like, did you need those earrings? Yeah. <laughs> I felt like with Valentine's Day coming up every year, I do do a bunch of Valentine's Day shoots and looks and stuff like that. That these. I was gonna call these earrings <laughs> that these sunglasses would be super dope. The little arrow through the heart, that's me, that's Brad. Even my canceled hoodie with these. Then I got these earrings, which I am obsessing over. This was one of the things that I really wanted to get. Um, they're just these big silver earrings that say freak and they're dangling and I just think that's so cool because like if you didn't know that I eat ass, like now you do. <laughs> oh my God. I really don't eat ass. Like I haven't oh. eaten ass in like years. The next thing are these little black glasses. I love that like this is a clothing haul. I'm just like talking about eating ass. But they're so cool. They don't have like a, like a f wire up here. They only have, you're literally looking at them. Like why am I explaining them? Are they crooked or is my head crooked? <laughs> when they like ripped my ear off to give me a nose job, they like put it back on lower. <laughs> Oh fuck, but I really like these. They're gonna be super cute when I wear them one time and then lose them. Then I just have the same pair of silver earrings but with little crosses, so like same shit. In case I wasn't feeling wearing the word freak on my ear, I got like a backup. Then I just got two little chain belts. I definitely didn't need these, but I feel like they are very in right now and Instagram bitches be wearing these with everything. So I'm always trying to up my accessory game. Yeah, it's fucking tangled as shit, but it's this belt. I think that'll be mad cute with like boyfriend jeans and stuff. And then I just got a regular belt chain too just to like clip onto joggers and stuff like that because I've had 4,000 of these but I lose them every 10 seconds of my life but I do think that these always just like make an outfit cooler then I got this Sherpa plaid jacket I love that. which I just love so much I think it's so bitchy I wish I would have had this in New York this weekend it's so New York so good and fresh it's actually 
is so soft too. And I think this was like 30 bucks. So go the fuck off Dolls Kill. It's also like shorter, which is like cute with like a longer shirt. Love this. Oh my God. It's literally feel this. It's like a comforter. Oh wow. Right? Like you wouldn't expect it to feel like that. Wow. The next thing I got, I'm literally having a full body orgasm over. Like a full body orgasm. Really, I can't, like I think about these. I go to bed thinking about them. I think they're so good. They're these little wow. blue and white Girl. boots. Right, hurt my fucking little ankle, bitch. With like angels all over them. I was thinking about doing a photo shoot with those and then just wearing like these little, I'm turning into a porn star. Blue silk bottoms. Oh, they say angel on the butt in rhinestones. You're not gonna be able to see that, but. And then the blue underwear also come with a little blue off the shoulder top and it has like rhinestone straps that I'm like far too lazy to unwrap and show you. And again, Dolls Kill isn't paying me for this video. So like, am I really gonna go out of my way? So I thought that this would be a very cute like photo shoot moment. If not, like I can fuck Brad in this and then just wear these. Then I got a pink chain choker. Absolutely nothing special. It's just like a hot pink chain. I'm always wearing a bunch of silver jewelry, so I thought sometimes to be able to throw like a pink chain choker up there that that would look kind of sick. Guys, I've been wanting Doc Martens for so long. I ordered some on Cyber Monday from Urban Outfitters and they like never came. Uh, this video is also shading Urban Outfitters apparently. But I finally just bit the bullet and ordered some black Doc Martin. I think these are like the Jaden 8 style. I was wearing these earlier today. And then the white and black ones, which I just think are so so sexy, like you little fucking slut. <laughs> I love these. I feel like I'm gonna wear these so fucking much. I wanna take a poll in the comments below. Do you guys think Emma Chamberlain popularized Doc Martens again or do you think that they were gonna come back in style anyway? Oh, bitch. If you thought my other shit was honky tonk. If you thought my other shit was fucking Tex and Hannah. I like those. Okay. Come on. Come on. First of all, yeah, it's literally yeah. fucking Kira Kira in real life. But the thought of these just like with the big t-shirt was really cool to me and a super easy outfit. And I do think because they're black and like leather and like thigh highs, I'll probably wear them three times before I depop them. <laughs> and the last item, I really just had to be out here ordering five pair of fucking shoes I didn't need. I really doubt that I'll ever wear them. Like these were $90 and I so wish Dolls Kill would have just sent me that. All right guys, I spent $3,000 at Dolls Kill and that's what the fuck it looked like. But thank God they sent me six items worth 40 bucks, right? No. So my email's below. I think all of my hauls are just me begging certain companies to work with me. No tea, no shade, all lemonade. I was definitely just making jokes. Thank you to Dolls Kill for still sending me those six items. But I would love it if you just gave me a stock, a share in your company. Like I would do so much with a share of Dolls Kill. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I definitely want to continue to incorporate fashion stuff onto this channel sometimes. I know I keep doing it mainly just on my vlog channel, but as the year progresses, a goal of mine is to continue to showcase my fashion on this channel as well. But um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye. All right, bye guys. Spend your money wisely or the IRS will come for you. <laughs>